Good morning everyone this is Vishakha welcome to 3.0 OTV Crypto TV has rebranded itself as 3.0 TV to provide an all-around update to viewers and help broaden the understanding of the evolving digital segment including cryptocurrencies blockchain projects metaverse non-fungible tokens cyber security and several other related issues so keep watching 3.0 OTV for all things related to web3 including to keep abreast of all the ongoing happenings and transformation in the digital space here are the news headlines Cryptocurrencies wilt amid mixed economic signals but coin fluctuates near $24,000 Troubled crypto lender Celsius gets cash offer permission to sell bitcoin Coinbase to pause Ether and ERC20 token trades during Ethereum merge Fed wants banks to notify reserve board before engaging in crypto activity Bitcoin miner Riot posts 366.3 million dollars net loss in second quarter. Snoop Dogg, Justin Bieber and other celebs accused of NFT paid promotions. SEC files suit against Dragon Chain over 16.5 million dollars ICO. crypto.com exchange registers with UK financial regulator and now the news in detail cryptocurrencies traded marginally lower tracking mixed signals offered by US stocks subdued economic data against the backdrop of aggressive federal reserve rate hikes US stocks ended higher after a late rally in technology related company shares though the tech heavy Nasdaq 100 ended lower while the blue chip Dow Jones Industrial Average rallied 0.7%. Among the economic releases data showed a bigger than expected drop in US home construction while production at US factories increased in July for the first time in 3 months. US WTI Crude oil closed at its lowest level since January 25, settling at $86.53 per barrel, providing succor to investors on likely further easing in inflation. Bitcoin was recently seen trading at around $23,900, down 0.8% in the past 24 hours. Ether, the second biggest cryptocurrency, traded near $1,000, down 0.9% in a similar time frame. All other major altcoins traded mixed, though meme coins were seen higher. Bankrupt cryptocurrency lender Celsius Network said it has received proposals to inject cash into the company and won an approval from a U.S. court to sell Bitcoin that it mines. Celsius on Monday had disclosed that it was running low on money and will run out of cash by October. Celsius lawyer Josh Sussberg revealed the proposals for receipt of cash injection offers during a bankruptcy hearing but didn't disclose how big the offers were. Celsius which fell into bankruptcy this year after the crypto rout prompted it to prevent customers from withdrawing their money needs liquidity. US based cryptocurrency exchange Coinbase said that when Ethereum's core developers transition the blockchain to proof of stake they will temporarily suspend certain token deposits and withdrawals. The crypto exchange will briefly pause deposits and withdrawals of Ether and ERC20 tokens as a precautionary measure to handle the migration. The exchange also warned users against scammers offering Ether2 tokens, saying crypto users did not need to take additional action to receive staked Ether prior to the merge. The Federal Reserve Board on Tuesday issued new directives to banks seeking to diversify into offering crypto asset related activities. According to the directives, the banks should notify the Fed Board before engaging in crypto activities, assess whether crypto related activities are legally permissible and determine whether regulatory fillings are required. The Fed wants that banks also have systems and controls in place to conduct crypto-related activities. Bitcoin miner Riot reported a $366.3 million net loss in the second quarter, 
primarily due to a $349.1 million goodwill impairment charge and a $99.8 million impairment charge on its Bitcoin reserves. Riot mined 1,395 Bitcoin, a 0.7% decrease from the previous quarter. Revenue declined 8.7% to $72.9 million, with mining accounting for $46.2 million and hosting accounting for $9.8 million. The company said it was hit negatively by the drop in Bitcoin prices and increased variable mining expenses, but that it improved efficiencies by deploying a larger amount of new generation technology. By the conclusion of the quarter, the miner had a hash rate of 4.4 exahash per second, up 2.3% in three months. It expects to attain 12.5 exahash per second by the first quarter of 2023, a modest decrease from the previously reported number of 12.8 exahash per second by January. Watchdog consumer group Truth in advertising accused celebrities like Justin Bieber, Reese Witherspoon, Snoop Dogg, Eminem, Paris Hilton, Eva Longoria, Tom Brady, Shaquille O'Neal and 10 others of shilling non-fungible tokens. NFT shilling is when NFTs are promoted by someone influencing others to invest. The not-for-profit watchdog advocacy group said that they investigated the celebrities in question and found their promotion an area rife with deception. The alleged promotion by the celebrities seemed conspicuous as they failed to prove their material connection with the promoted NFTs, explained Tina.org. The celebrities were requested by Tina.org to disclose their connection to the NFTs they were promoting. The Securities and Exchange Commission has taken legal action against another 2017 initial coin offering. On August 16, the SEC filed a complaint against multiple company organizations associated with Dragon Chain and founder John Joseph Royds about their pre-sale and initial coin offering, which garnered $16.5 million at the time. The Commission is calling the ICO an unregistered security sale and is requesting disgorgement of the funds as well as a civil monetary penalty. The pre-sale took place in 2017, soon following the SEC's July Dow report. The report marked a watershed moment after which the SEC would examine future ICOs as potential securities offers. Five years later, the SEC is still pursuing litigation against some of these offerers, as well as a number of undisclosed paid promoters. Crypto.com, a digital asset exchange registered with the UK's financial regulator, the Financial Conduct Authority. The Singapore-based firm, which serves more than 50 million customers, is now authorised to conduct certain crypto asset activities in the UK, though what exactly those activities entail remains unclear. In June, Crypto.com laid off 5% of its workforce, or 260 employees, as it navigated the headwinds of the beer market. On Tuesday, a local publication reported Crypto.com was undergoing another round of layoffs. According to sources, the size of this round of cuts is much bigger than the first one. That's all in the news today. This is me, Vishakha, signing off. And for more such updates, keep watching 3.0 TV.